President Duterte said he's worried about the resurgence of illegal drugs and he's hoping his successor would continue his campaign against the drug menace. Let's listen in. The, 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 there was this alarm. He was the one who issued the alarm of his uh, missing daughter. Then it was found out that he raped the child, his daughter, killed her, at tinago niya doon sa imburna sa likod ng bahay niya. Ito yung mga... Ito yung... It simply drives me crazy. Itong mga ito na putulan yung ulo ng asawa mo. And it is happening every day. It has been there since the inception of the drug problem. Ang, uh, never mind about the ICC. Uh, wala akong pakialam dyan. I'm, I'm, that's not worried me a bit, you know. It, itong sa drugs, I just hope that uh, somebody, uh, maybe kung hindi yung talagang presidente, would uh, find the resolve to just continue with the drive against drug because I said uh, it, will, it, it will destroy our country. It will really destroy our country at uh, you know lahat tayo mati we're getting old as a matter of fact we're about to make to make the exit na ang problema is the next generation you have to protect the next generation because if not then they will have a serious problem in their hands In his report to President Duterte, Department of the Interior and Local Government Secretary Eduardo Año said, based on the latest report, the law enforcers, enforcers have arrested 1,658 individuals and confiscated 159 million pesos worth of illegal drugs in 1,230 anti-illegal drug operations.